Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be canning meatloaf. And if you hang around, we'll show you how we did it. Okay guys, like I said, today Tina and I are going to be canning meatloaf. Now you're not going to find this in a lot of approved recipe books, but um, we are going to do it in a safe manner. We're going to cook it the full 90 minutes that you would for any raw meat, and we may even leave it about 10 minutes longer, but not more than 100 minutes. So we've got a lot of great footage here. We'll get into that. We'll show you how we make our meatloaf, and then we'll come back and talk to you when it's all done. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start canning up this meatloaf. And I wanted to give you a look at the ingredients here and tell you just a, just a couple of things. We're going to be working with these uh, pint and a half tall jars. And I wanted to give you a picture of the label and stuff there. They are a wide mouth jar and they have no shoulder to them. So we'll be able to slide the meatloaf right out of them once we're done. But uh, they come nine to a pack, but we're only going to be using eight. So only eight fit in the canner so I got this one out here just to show you but before we get started for you guys who like to screenshot the recipes I'm gonna give you a look at Tina's recipe card we're back in her uh, secret recipe box so if you can grab that screenshot there's a there's a shot of the front of the card and I'll pull back here and we'll give you a shot of the back of the card too but we'll call out this recipe while we take a look at stuff. We're gonna have nine pounds of hamburger, three diced peppers, four diced onions, two packets of dry onion soup, um, one tablespoon of garlic salt, they're back here in the cups, one tablespoon of onion salt. We're gonna have four eggs and we're gonna have three cans of tomato paste. But we're also going to use some of this vinegar back here. We're going to be working with meat, which has a lot of grease. So when we go to put our lids on, we're going to be using vinegar on the rags to make sure we cut any grease off the rims of the jar. And in case any of the jars decide to uh, blow out any liquid, um, we're also going to be putting a little bit of vinegar in the water in our canner. So I'll go back over that when we get ready to do that step. But We'll cut away here and let Tina get set up and we'll start uh, chopping and mixing and getting these things put together. But we appreciate you watching. All right, guys, we're going to start mixing up this meatloaf now. And uh, we're going to start out with the nine pounds of hamburger. But we've got a uh, four and a half pounds of 80 20 and four and a half pounds of 93 7. So you do want some fat in here. You don't want a whole lot of fat in your jars, but you don't want to make it out of straight 97 or 93.7, um, or your meatloaf just comes out so dense that it's just a meat wad. So <laughs> we're gonna go ahead. We got the hamburger in there. What do we got next here? We're gonna go in with the four eggs. From Happy Chickens. From Happy Chickens, Tina says. They gotta be eggs from Happy Chickens. Yeah. So. We got our four eggs in there. We'll go with the uh, two cups of uh, onion soup, or not two cups, two packages of onion soup mix. Get those in there. We got a tablespoon of uh, onion salt and a tablespoon of garlic salt. And that's the onion salt and garlic salt we make here. Uh, we may do a video on that, or we may have one up already. But now we're going to go with the. Uh, Three diced peppers and four diced onions. And you gotta eat your colors. And you gotta eat your colors. So Tina says we got a we got a green bell pepper in there, an orange one and a red one. Oh, and some white onion. So we got plenty of colors in this. It ought to be good and healthy. Yeah. So we'll get up here and get this mixed up and uh, we'll get a get a real, real good mix on it, and then we'll show you loading it up in these jars. And we'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer to doing that. 
All right, guys, we're going to jump back in here real quick and give you a look at this mixed up meatloaf. But uh, one of the things is, is we don't put uh, breadcrumbs or crackers in our canned meatloaf. Um, let's just say we had a bad experience with that. So <laughs> we like it better without them. So we're going to go on and uh, we're going to go on and can it without them. But uh, you don't really need them there. Uh, as long as you're using the low fat, you don't need quite as many uh you don't need quite as many binders in your meatloaf to hold it together. So we'll bring you back and we'll get this stuff in jars and we'll show you what that looks like. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you back in here for just a second and show you what we're doing. I've got a pair of gloves on. Tina's got her gloves on. But to keep the oil and stuff off the rims of the jars, we're rolling it up in little meatballs. And then I'll drop them in for Tina and she'll pack them down. But you want to make sure you get all the air spaces out of those jars. So we're going to pack them up and uh, bring you over here real quick. We're going to leave about an inch and a half of head space, but I'll come back and show you that here when we get these jars packed up. But I wanted to give you a look at, at how we're doing it. We just, we just roll up a ball. I'll drop it to Tina. Tina will finish packing it in the jars till we get up to the line we need it up to. But we'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer. We'll show you what we're doing. All right, guys, we've got these uh, jars packed up. I'll show you we left about an inch and a half of head space on each one. And uh, since our canner won't hold the ninth jar, we have a surprise for you. And it's the best part of the recipe is you can't can meatloaf and not eat meatloaf. So we made us a little meatloaf on the side. So Tina's getting ready. She's going to start putting this tomato paste on top of the jars I think she's gonna put about a rounded tablespoon or so on the tops of them and then we'll get ready to get the lids on them I will show you you don't have to be too fancy with it that grease is gonna come up and it's all gonna melt and gel around in there but uh, we're just gonna put a nice glob on top of nice glob on top of each one and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get ready and start doing the canning process so we'll bring you back when we get ready to do that we thought we'd give you a look at it before we get ready to get to that point all right guys we're getting our canner set up and Tina's gonna throw in a splash of vinegar now you can do this if you have hard water that'll help keep the sediment off of your jars we've got pretty soft water what we're doing it for is in case any of the grease comes out of the jars it'll keep it from sticking on the outsides of the jars and it'll help us with cleanup when we get done but we'll slide over here Tina's got her lids heating up and uh, she's got some vinegar in her water there so she's gonna use that vinegar to cut any extra grease off of the rim of the jars and then uh, we don't add any liquid or anything we're just gonna go straight for we'll put a lid on them and then we'll uh, if she can pick one up but uh, we we'll get a lid on it and I'm gonna tell you Tina I'll tell you a story here put your thing in the we had one of the viewers ask us the other day, let me see your, uh, let me see your magnetic thing there. One of the viewers asked the other day, oh, what, yeah. <laughs> what, what kind of crochet hook you were using to get your lids out. And I told him it was just a regular magnetic wand and we've had it for probably 20 some years, but it had a bad accident with a hot <laughs> burner. So yeah. we'll give you guys a look at that as just an amusing story, but we'll go ahead and cut back here. Uh, Tina's getting these jars ready to go. We'll get them loaded up here in the canner and then uh, we'll get them running. We're going to run them for 90 minutes and then we're going to bring you guys back. We'll, we'll let it cool down all the way, crack the lid for 10 or 15 minutes, but we'll bring you guys back and show you what they look like as we go along. All right, guys, I'm going to cut back in here. Tina's, Tina's getting these loaded up here, but uh, I'll give you one more hint to canning these. Uh, meatloaf is the hamburger and stuff that you put in there is cold so you want to make sure that that water in the bottom of your canner isn't too hot and you don't want to crank this thing all the way up on high to bring it to steam like you normally would when you're canning so our stove goes to nine we're probably going to bring it up to steam on about seven so that way it'll come up slower and uh it doesn't affect the processing time because you don't start the processing until it builds all the way to all the way to pressure and rattling so um, while we're just waiting for that steam vent the 10 minute steam vent 
we're going to bring it up to that steam venting on about seven rather than cranking it all the way up on high. That way we don't risk busting these jars. All right, guys, we've got the canner doing the dance. And I'm going to have to talk over it a little bit, but I wanted to bring you in here. We got the little meatloaf out of the oven. So while that canner's doing its thing, Tina and I are going to sit down and enjoy a couple of good meatloaf sandwiches. All right, guys, we've had this lid cracked for about 10 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and get it off of there. And we're getting ready to pull the meatloaf out. So I want to show you guys what it looks like coming fresh out of the canner. Looking good. Get in here and see if we can sneak a peek at any of them. Not real great lightning. We'll go over to the table here in a second and we'll take a look. Oop. Yeah. Looks good. We'll go over here and take a look at them over here. You can. You can see the peppers and onions in them. It's a little tough to see because all the grease, the they shrink up down into the middle of the jars. But they aren't the best looking thing when they when they cool off. That you'll see mostly grease. But when you take open those jars up and uh, or soak the jars in a little hot water and then slide that meatloaf out of there, man, that is some good eating. But we wanted to give you a good look at them and. Uh, we got, uh, I think we got eight of them in there, but there's your look, and uh, I'll be right back to talk to you guys, but that's meatloaf in a can. All right, guys, that's about going to wrap it up for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. We sure enjoyed the little taste test, and uh, we thought the meatloaf came out, looked really good. So um, if you guys have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. But your questions and comments tell YouTube to show our videos to more people. And if you like the content here on the channel, we hope you'll subscribe. There's a subscribe button down below. And next to it is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release new videos. I wanted to say a word of thanks to everybody out there for all the success we had with the giveaway. And congratulations. We've heard from both skillet winners. So, uh... We also had an alternate winner, so we'll be sending her a prize as well. So we're going to give away all three prizes, and that's a, that's a great thing. We were hoping that's what would happen. So we're, uh, we've also got a couple of other canning videos we hope you'll check out. Um, one of them a lot of people seem to be interested in is we canned a, um, a snow-free chicken where you don't have all the little fat globules floating around. I'm going to put a link to that right up here in the corner. But uh, it's a great way to can chicken if you don't like the look of raw packed chicken when it's cooked it, it usually ends up looking like a snow globe and a lot of people don't like it and it looks kind of unsightly and uh, we eat with our eyes first what we see is what we enjoy so um, we've got a great way to can without uh, without all that snow in the chicken and we've got a another recent video we put up which is a pot roast video how to can a pot roast and that's with the carrots potatoes onions and all so uh, I'm going to put a link to that up here too. If you want to check that out, that's a whole meal in a jar. But uh, we've enjoyed having you guys here at the homestead. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please, again, give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. If you have any questions, for sure, leave those. But uh, we, take our, we take our cues from you guys. So if you want to see us do anything or there's anything other than this you'd like to see on the channel, you know, we do do other things, um, gardening and stuff. But uh, if there's anything that you'd like to see, leave it down there in the comments. We read all the comments, do our best to respond to all the comments. And uh, we take our cues from you. So the more you comment and the more you tell us, the more you'll probably enjoy your stay here. We'll see you in the next one.